So you have now just an incredible amount of delusion on the Republican side. And uh, it's quite helpful at this point. Marco Rubio, Paul Ryan, I guess, gave speeches that were about as innocuous as you could get at this point. Marco Rubio, just days after saying, like, we, we really don't know. Like, I'm not a scientist, man. I don't know how old the, uh, the planet is. I don't. It could be, could be six weeks. Could be not a million years, but could be six to six, seven thousand. Um, but you have here the two potential front runners for the 2016 Republican, uh, I guess, sweepstakes, as it were, trying to set markers of reasonableness. And it's virtually impossible for them to do. We can hear, and I keep saying this over and over again, and I will continue to say it, the Washington Republicans can attempt, at least on some level, the somewhat national Republicans can attempt to say that, we well, we, look, we've gotten much more reasonable. Sean Hannity can talk about immigration reform all he wants. Uh, the problem is you still have guys like Grover Norquist going out there, and despite the fact that the polling shows that the majority of Americans will blame the Republicans if we go over the fiscal cliff, even though they don't know what the fiscal cliff is. And Grover Norquist uh, going on MSNBC, I think he's probably doing this just to get uh, hits of his YouTube channel, but this is what he had to say about President Obama. Part Democrat of the, partisan part of that today. reasonableness is actually putting revenue on the table, which Speaker Boehner has said multiple times he's open yeah. to doing. That includes closing loopholes and ending deductions. These are not words that are political kryptonite, right. apparently for the Republican Party, that has stoked the ire of some on the sort of uh, the ends of the conservative mm -hmm. spectrum, including Eric Erickson. Um, they have said that this is the GOP selling out. Do you agree with that or not? It, not at this point. We were in exactly this point two years ago when the same things were discussed with Obama during the uh, debt ceiling increase. And at the end of the day, we ended up with two and a half trillion in uh, spending savings and not a dollar of tax increase. Why? Because Obama overplayed his hand. He's doing it again, just as he did in 2008. He thought the country had given him a blank sheet of paper to work on. He did the stimulus spending. He went from 70 percent support down to below 50. He lost the House. Now he gets reelected with less strength, not against a war hero, but against a guy from Massachusetts. And the Republicans have the House, and he thinks somebody made him king, and he's going to have more taxes, more spending, and more okay. regulations. <laughs> it's a real problem for him. He doesn't have the uh, mandate he thinks he does. So I, I think he takes us over the cliff because he doesn't, he's got blinders on. He doesn't see where he stands in the universe. Okay. Yes, in other words, uh, Grover Norquist saying, this guy thinks he's king. He's extremely uppity in some respects. Despite all the polling, despite the fact that Grover Norquist now is, in many respects, just a burning tire hanging around the necks of a lot of these Republicans looking to re run for re-election two years from now. And so, uh, again, you know, Norquist there, though, is signaling where he knows the Republicans have their only leverage. And their only leverage at this point, unless President Obama basically decides to use his constitutional ability to bypass the debt ceiling vote, essentially, in Congress. Grover Norquist knows that the Republican Party is still willing, and not just willing, has to, because of what, the way that they have created their electoral base, willing to hold the entire country hostage and say, we will not pay the bills that we have already uh, got the proceeds from. We've spent the money. Credit card bill has shown up. We're just not going to pay. That's what he is suggesting. Uh, so good luck to Grover on that. I just can't believe him saying, you know, like, who does, who does this Obama guy think he is? Right. <laughs> As opposed to Grover Norquist. Yeah. Does, does he have a pledge or something? He hasn't gotten anybody to sign a pledge.